record encounters in December. Big drop in migrant crossings in January at the southern border. ABC 15 data analyst Garrett Archer looking to why as he takes us inside the numbers. We had just over 176,000 migrant encounters at the nation's southern border in January. That's according to the U.S. Customs and Border Protection. By itself, it's a high number, but a huge decline from the record set in December. A 41% drop, uh, but still high for January, a 12% uh, increase from last year, and the second highest January on record. The highest being uh, about 185,000 set back in the year 2000. So where is the drop coming? from. Well, it's all along the border, but mostly in Texas. Migrant encounters there were down by more than half in just this last month, about 70,000 total. Migrant encounters in our state, though, uh, reaching about 58,000, uh, a drop of 36% from there, from that, uh, from December. Uh, California down by about 21%. Uh, and New Mexico, always a small, a much smaller number there. They saw encounters drop by only 1%. Uh, looking at nationalities, uh, migrants hailing from Mexico, Mexico make up the largest group as usual, uh, and those encounters were down about 13 percent. Uh, huge drops, though, from South American countries, an 80 percent drop of Venezuelan migrants, uh, but the only nationality up from last January, Peruvians, Colombians, Hondurans, and Ecuadorian migrants, uh, those encounters are all declining by more than half. An almost equal drop by demographic, migrant encounters with families and single adults both fell by about 60,000. Unaccompanied minor encounters, they fell from about 8,500 to that 13,000 uh, on the month before. With a look inside the numbers, I'm Garrett Archer, ABC 15, Arizona.